In 2013, Barry King began an extremely ambitious solo project that he hoped would make a name for himself. Fast forward six and a half years and Barry's world record attempt of making the Salisbury Cathedral out of matchsticks has made a lot of progress. It's on show all this week and in October in Salisbury's Guildhall so people can take a look at his work so far. Well, I started it in 2013. Um, it took me three weeks to draw the plans out for the model. Uh, I wanted to do a piece of art to be famous for. Always had it in my mind to do. Um, came up with doing the cathedral <laughs> um, out of matchsticks and then I looked into what the world record was for the most matches in the model. That's what it was a big task ahead if I did decide to do it. The model weighs 70 kilograms so far with 44 litres of glue used. Barry estimates the model will take him another 15 years to complete, which would mean a possible total of 5 to 6 million matchsticks used. It took Barry a little while to get going, but so far he's happy with the way it looks. Uh, the first year I did probably about 40,000 matches in my first year, so I thought oh, I'd better quicken that up a little bit. Um, now I'm up to 801,000 matches and near, nearly got the west front finished, but not quite. I've still got about 30 statues to make yet and obviously some of the trees and grass I need to finish as well. But at the moment, with the reaction from people who come and see it, they're stunned by what I've done. Um, and I'm proud of what I'm doing and obviously raising money for my local charity as well, the Starsville. The last matchstick that Barry puts onto the model will take place on the 10th of July, in whatever year he finishes. This is in honour of his father, whose birthday was on that date. Barry is raising money for the Stars Appeal charity, which helps local people at Salisbury District Hospital, and the charity say this project is very important to them. Well, it's, it's magic because it's going to raise money and awareness for Salisbury District Hospital's charity, the Stars Appeal, and it's going to enable us to help even more local people in hospital to get better faster, to get home sooner and to have a more positive hospital experience, which is what we exist to do and it's only through support of local people like Barry and this is an amazing thing that he's doing that we're able to do any of that stuff. Barry has received lots of media attention since he began this project. Just recently he and the model featured on the ITV show this morning as well as being in a number of national newspapers. But beyond the attention the charity say the money raised is vital. Well, it's incredible. I think the national media attention that it's gathered really underlines how important it is. But I think what's even more important is the fact that money raised by Barry's efforts is going to make sure that when a baby's born prematurely or critically ill, their parents can stay free of charge right next to their side. It's going to help fund support for older people, people with dementia. It's going to help fund free aromatherapy sessions for people who are undergoing chemotherapy, cancer treatment. It's going to help ensure that people who've been um, paralysed in an accident, um, who are stuck in hospital for months at a time, get a day out and a, and a day trip to, set, to have a nice experience away from the hospital. So that's just a few examples of the difference that money that, like that, which Barry is raising, makes. That's just a handful of examples. In 15 years' time, Barry will have hopefully finished this huge project and raised a lot of money for the Stars Appeal charity. And in doing so, he hopes to light up the lives of many local people. Jack Deary, That's TV.